Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being with me as I again fall off the YouTube bandwagon. I know I was doing so well with my weekly uploads and then I just kind of got busy. But today I'm back, I'm filming like three videos, so we've got lots coming up. I thought what better way to start than with a foundation that has pretty much broke the internet and that is of course the Revolution Fast Base Foundation Stick. It is literally a £5 foundation, £5. And I picked this up online because my super drug did not have it in stock yet or they didn't have it out so I just kind of guessed online so I've got three shades I got F5, F7 and F8 so I thought we'll try them out today see how they look but what I wanted to do today mostly was just kind of talk you guys through the makeup look that I've been going for when I don't have a lot of time in the morning or I really am not feeling inspired to do a full 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 beat with smoky eye and glitter and whatnot because that's usually what I go for it's usually my jam so I've been really liking just doing this more kind of complexion focused boy glam if you will but not Body glam because this is probably more than most people wear on a daily basis, male or female. But for me, this is my kind of go to natural glam. I know it takes a long time in this video, but for me, I can do this look in about 20 minutes, so it's really great if I push the snooze button too often. So I thought I'll show you guys this because it is really like my go to look. I really wanted to try this foundation as well, so I wanted to try it out just using it how I would use it any other foundation. So I haven't tried too many new products today. The main thing I've tried new from Revolution is, of course, that fast based foundation stick but I also picked up the baking oil which as you guys know I have fallen in love with the Urban Decay Drop Shot Mix In Facial Oil so it will be really interesting to see how this one compares when it's £5. So if you want to see how I create this look and how I do my everyday glam then just keep watching but before you do have you hit subscribe yet? No I didn't think so. Right so I think hopefully by the time I post this video I will be at 2000 subscribers as I'm filming it I'm literally two away. I know 2000 isn't a lot for most people, but for me that is such a huge accomplishment because I did almost started doing YouTube like six months ago and I've got so many videos planned that I want to do. I have really tried to set time aside every week to film, so if you guys have got any ideas for things you'd like to see from me then please leave them below. Um, but yeah, apart from that, if you want to see how this look came together and how I do my everyday boy glam, including because I've listened to the comments and I've showed you how I do my eyebrows recently because you all know doing brows on camera is not my thing, but I thought today I will do it for you. So yeah, brows are in here too. So if you want to see how I created this look from start to finish, then just keep watching. So I'm just prepping my skin using the MAC Mineralize Charge Water Charcoal Spray. As you guys know, the Urban Decay B6 Spray is my favourite, but I've run out just now. And this stuff is really, really nice for giving your skin a really nice, fresh base. So next up, we're going to be using the Baking Oil by Makeup Revolution to protect my skin. This is actually my first time trying this. As you all know, the Urban Decay Drop Shot is literally life and it's a daily part of my makeup routine. So it'll be interesting to see how the Baking Oil from Revolution measures up. What it says online is this is part skincare, part makeup. Our Baking Oil contains a unique blend of natural oils that nourish and boost radiance for all skin types for dry to oily. Massage a few drops into the skin before applying makeup to create a silky, smooth base. So let's see how this works. So we'll just take two drops and we'll just massage that into the skin. Okay, so this is smelling super lemony, very citrusy. It feels really nice and smooth. It'll be really interesting to see how this wears with the Revolution Stick Foundation because I have been trying it out already and that is pretty radiant and pretty creamy. So how this and the oil are going to mix will be really interesting to see. Okay, so it feels really nice on the skin and it smells very citrusy, very fresh. It's not giving me a lot of extra luminosity where my drop shot would do, but yeah, let's keep going with this. So for foundation, obviously we're using the Revolution Fast Base Stick Foundation. I started off with using shade 5, but I'm quite handy. This is maybe going to be a little bit too light, so I'm just going to take a little bit of shade F8 on top as well. And then we'll just blend that out with our beauty sponge. Yeah, so this foundation's going on super creamy. The finish is actually really nice. It's giving me a lot more coverage than what I was predicting. It's melting into the skin really nicely. I have just added a little bit more to my nose. I just felt like that was kind of lacking in coverage. Does anyone else find that their nose is like the true test of whether a foundation works or not? Sometimes I find that foundations, I will love all over my skin and on the nose it just goes nowhere near close to covering what I need it to cover. But yeah, this one's actually quite nice. 
I do think the texture is really nice. The only thing I will say about it, and this happens to me with a lot of stick foundations, is I do find that maybe they sit in the pores a little bit more than what a liquid foundation would do. And you have to kind of go over it with your beauty blender quite a bit just to even things out. I did mean to pick up one of the sticks in a darker shade to liquid contour with because today's look is all about that kind of natural boy glam that I do on days when I'm not feeling fully, fully beat. But I forgot I've got the Revolution Conceal and Define in a darker shade, the concealer, so we're going to do a little bit of liquid contouring with that, but just a little bit just to really start sculpting the cheek. Then we're just going to blend out that little bit of concealer to contour. It is really subtle, I'm not wanting anything too heavy. It's just to kind of lay down a bronzy base to the foundation so when I put my bronzer on top it's got a little bit of a depth to it. And now we're just taking the Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in the shade C2 just to kind of highlight the under eyes and centre of the face and blend that into the skin. This concealer has become such a favourite of mine in such a short space of time. The only concern I have with it is how quickly I go through the tubs. I think it is partly down to me using too much. I think it's also because the applicator is so big it takes up so much space in the actual little bottle. And then what I'm going to do, which I actually meant to do before concealer, is pop onto the brows. Forgive me, I normally do my brows off camera so putting them into my routine on video is a new experience and I might have missed it out. So once I've brushed out any excess foundation from my brows using my little spoolie end of my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow brush, I am then going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow in ebony. I start off by drawing a strength line underneath my brow bone just to give my brows that shape that I'm starting off with and then once I'm happy with that and extend the tail ever so slightly, what I then like to do is take some more of that dip brow on my brush and just start flicking little hair light strokes to start to build the brow up. Then just to add some dimension to my brows, I'm going to start off by applying the Urban Decay Subversion Lash Primer. So I'm just combing this through my brows. I know that it is a lash primer for your eyelashes, but I find that doing this will really just kind of start to give my natural brow hairs a bit more of a three-dimensional feel. Now I'm just taking some of the Revolution Brow Precise in the dark brown. This is a really good brow gel because it's got a really cool little brush on it and it actually has fibres in it as well so it really helps to thicken the brows and make them look fuller. And then I'm just going in with more of that Revolution Concealer in C2 and I'm just going to carve out the brow. This is always a favourite step for me when doing my makeup. I love a nice carved out eyebrow. Use my little trusty Zoeva smudger brush just to kind of sharpen it into place. And once I'm happy with how sharp my brow is looking, I'm just going to pull some more of that concealer down over the eyelid. So once I've carved out my brows and done a concealer on my eyelids, this is normally when I would do my concealer under my eyes, but obviously I forgot and did it in a slightly different order. But I'm going to put a little bit more on just because I want to make sure the inner eye is looking really bright. I am the ultimate concealer junkie. I think I use probably double the recommended dose, but I just live for a really popping under eye. And because this look is really going to be quite skin focused, I want to make sure that my complexion has got a lot of dimension and a lot of glow. Before I start to do my powder on my under eyes and stuff, I'm going to pop a little bit on of the Revolution Liquid Highlighter. This is in the shade Liquid Champagne and it's giving me like Cover FX vibes. I think it is really cool and I think this was only a few pounds as well. And I'm just going to take a little tiny bit, just up the cheekbones, anywhere I want my skin to glow. This is a little bit more silvery than what I thought it was when I picked it up in the shop. It's a really nice base for your highlight if you want it to proper be like popping. It doesn't really show up like extra on its own, it is pretty sheer. But that's to be expected from a liquid highlight or you could honestly just leave this on its own if you wanted that really nice kind of daytime soft glam glow. I know I said I'm going for like a boy glam natural look but it's my boy glam natural look which is probably more people's full beat but hey who's caring. I will say one thing with this, the Revolution products are all really kind of mixing and melting well together. I think there's definitely been a lot of thought behind the full kind of product line with like the baking oil and the stick foundations and they all do really kind of work really well together. And just make sure that it's really well blended into the skin. I don't want it to have any sort of chunky lines so just make sure that everything is super blended. And then I know this is kind of backwards to a lot of people, but what I'm going to do just now is just set my highlight with a highlight before I do any matte powders. Get my Anastasia So Hollywood Illuminator and the matching brush, and I'm just going to buff that all over the cheeks everywhere I've applied that liquid champagne. And you'll see you're going to get a really popping finish. So I'm just taking that all over the face, everywhere that I want to give my highlight a really nice glow. I want to make sure my skin is popping, so the focus is going to be all on that skin and that glow. So you've got a little bit through the centre of the face and the nose, chin, I would literally set my whole face in highlighter but that's not what we're doing today. 
So what I want to just do now before I do anything else is just really set my under eyes to make sure that that concealer is not going anywhere. You guys, I am so excited because something very 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 important is back in my life and that is my Kaplan D Locket Loose Setting Powder. This stuff was out of stock for I am talking three four months. I could not get it anywhere but it's back so I am going to just bake my under eye like no tomorrow. But I like to make sure that I'm setting my nose as well especially because this is such a creamy foundation I really don't want to risk any sort of slide off. Make sure the centre of my face is super baked so that when I wipe it away I'm going to have a super bright look to the under eyes. I'm just going to warm everything up using my Urban Decay Beached Bronzer in the shade Bronze. I'm just making sure that I'm using that to really kind of start to warm up the cheeks and give me a little bit of a sculpt. And then I'm just taking some of the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Dark Deepest on my Morphe R14 just to kind of contour the cheeks a little bit. I really like this brush for contouring because it gives you a really lot of control. It's really dense but it's got a really fluffy edge so you get a really strong contour but nothing that's going to look too... Nothing's going to look too harsh because the edge is really kind of buff it out for you as well, which is really nice. I will say as well that at this point I'm noticing that I'm actually not having to worry too much about the powders blending away at the foundation. Sometimes I feel when you've got a stick foundation, if you haven't set the whole thing with powder, when you go to start adding your bronzers and your contour, that it will sometimes separate the stick. But this one's holding on pretty well, so that's getting definite points from me. Now our contour is coming together, so I'm really going to start blending away my bake from under eyes so that we can go back in with some more makeup. And just make sure that I'm really pressing the powder into the under eye rather than buffing too much of it away. I want to make sure that it's really well set. And then I'm not going for too snatched a nose today, I'm just going to take a little bit more of my bronzer and just run it down the centre of my nose just to give it a little bit of shape. Obviously I went for a really defined and popping under eye, so I want to make sure that my complexion is still looking flawless but my nose is not getting lost in all the light centre of the face. And then we're just taking a little bit more powder just in the centre of the nose. I know I wear too much powder, I'm not even sorry. But we're going to do that just to really chisel and that the blo they're not going to have too like, big stripes of bronzer because we don't want that. And don't worry guys, the powder phase is almost over. I'm just going to carve out my contour a little bit. Which I really like to do just to give it some shape. So to make sure my under eyes are super bright, I'm going to go into my Tarte Park Avenue Princess Bronzer Palette. And I'm going to go in with the shade Enhance. And we're just really going to dust that all over the under eyes. This is really finely milled and it's going to just clean away any of the excess bake that we've still got left. As well as giving it a little bit more brightness. Take it all over the eyelids as well, just to make sure that they are set so that that concealer is not going to be going anywhere as the day goes on and that your under eyes and your eyes are going to be looking super bright and super popping. See the difference between this side and this side, how much more brighter and lifted everything looks. So that is how much I really like just adding that little touch bit of powder. This is really finely milled, so it is going to work really well. You really want to avoid anything too heavy and too cakey, especially if you're layering powders. It's going to make it look too heavy and too creasy and we don't want that. So then what we're going to do, you know, is go in with my favourite MAC blusher in Sunbask. I'm not even sorry for the fact that I use this pretty much every day. It is my favourite blusher. It's just so nice to give your cheeks a really nice warm glow and transition between your bronzer and your highlighter. If you're not a fan of a huge pink blush or anything too bright, this is perfect because it just is a kind of shimmery, bronzy, peachy colour and it just gives my skin such a nice glow as well. And in case you haven't noticed by now, I am all, all, all about that glow. Now, I've no, now obviously we have got quite a bit of powder in the face. I want to make sure it's really melted into the skin. I love to use MAC Fix Plus at this point, but to be honest, it's too far away in the room. I can't go and get in it. So I'm going to go in with more of my charcoal spray from earlier on, just to really melt the skin together, melt all the powders together, and make sure that my foundation is kind of damp again, so that when I go to add my proper highlight at the end, it is really going to pop. It is. So that when I go to add my proper highlight at the end, it is really going to pop. And then find something to use as a fan and fan yourself dry. Then we're just going to clean away that chisel. If you've got a little bit of that light powder left over, then fine. It's going to just highlight that jawbone again. And then we're going to go in with some serious highlight. Okay, so now that's starting to dry in, the time has come for some heavy duty highlight. Warning, you may need some sunglasses at this point because I intend to be 
popping like never before. So I'm going to take my little Morphe, little what numbers, I still came off. So I'm going to take my little Morphe R36 highlight brush and we're going to just start adding highlighter. So first of all, I'm going to make sure that my So Hollywood by Anastasia, which is almost dead, is really still popping. So I'm going to layer some of that on first. See that that So Hollywood is really starting to sculpt my cheekbones and adding that kind of chisel underneath the contour has given my cheekbones a lot of three dimensional depth. So they're going to look real and they're going to look like I've had some cheek fillers and they're going to look like I've actually got cheekbones which I was not blessed with genetically. Then I'm going to go in with the Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess Highlighter. This one's also coming to the end of its life and it's actually really new but this one's is March. Mine is untouched because it's too pretty to use. And I'm going to just take some of that up the cheeks and this is a really beautiful gold highlight. It is limited edition and this one was from last year but I'm going to do one every year and I think I've got one coming out very soon. <laughs> no doubt be purchasing that because highlight a little bit of that down the centre of the nose you can use like a wee small brush for this but I'm not too precious about my nose highlight anymore I think as long as you've got that nice glow in the centre and that little and that little life is good now we're going to go in with like one of the favourite highlighters in my collection which is the MAC Extra Dimension Skin Finish in Double Gleam again like the rest close to death done well used, beat up, scratched, has survived the war. The most wet looking, blinding, stunning, beautiful, perfect little Linda Evangelista. You are a model type highlight. This is the one. And we're just going to take that right up the cheeks just to really amplify the glow. I know I am wearing far too much highlighter today. I really do not care. Anyone who doesn't like highlighter, click to the next video because I love highlighter, especially this one. And I'm just taking that above the brow. I would happily set my whole face in highlighter, but I know that is not the look we're going for ever to look like the Tin Man, but you know, to be a bronze goddess is everyone's goal, so I'm just going to load myself up with that, just to make sure that the highlight looks really beautiful, I'm going to switch over to a Morphe R38 eyeshadow brush, load up some more of that double gleam and just take it on my brow bone, just to really light that up and give me some glow. Things like this are always really nice to do, just to give your skin a little bit extra of a flushed glow. I'm going to just set that in place with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. This one is the Pollution Protection one. I really like this because I find it makes the makeup look freshly applied for longer and I've noticed that it stops certain foundations from oxidising in my skin as much. I think because it has like the pollution protection element into it, it will stop oxidising. And you know the drill with this. A little bit goes a long way but I like to use a lot so I'm just going to soak my skin. Okay, so I'm not going to do any eye makeup today. I really like on days like this when I've got a really full beat and a really glowy complexion. Like so, glowy, wet looking, almost a little bit greasy and sweaty but not in a bad way. But I'm going to just pop off camera and pop on a little bit of mascara. It'll of course be my trusty perversion but I'm decay because I don't wear anything else. And then I'll pop on some lashes and I'll be right back for a lip. So I'll see you in two seconds on the other side. Okay, that is the lashes on, and I think you'll agree that they really do pull the look together. It's so good in days when you really don't have time to do a full beat, to just really focus on that skin, and then give yourself a nice pair of lashes to brighten up the eyes. I really, really like how this skin is coming together. Just to finish everything off, let's put on a little lip. I'm obviously going to be really daring and different and not wear a nude today, except that I am. So I'm going to use my Urban Decay Lip Pencil in the shade Naked 2. And I'm going to use my favourite lipstick of all time. You all know Urban Decay Start Naked, just to keep it in this kind of go-to glam category. There we have it guys, that is the finished look. I hope you guys liked it. This has definitely become a look that I go to every day. I really like a more kind of bronzy contour nowadays than anything too cool tones and ashy. It's coming into summer, let's all start looking like bronze gods and goddesses. Of course the highlight is popping. The Revolution foundation stick. Yeah, I really actually liked it. I think that for the price it is super good. It has given me really nice coverage. The finish is really nice. I know that I struggled getting my shade, but that is again down to me online. Of course you know that Conceal and Define Concealer is a big favourite of mine so I really like how my under eyes look too. I um, hope you liked me showing you how to do my more fluffier brow. I know I kind of whizzed through it. I will do a more in-depth video soon but yeah this is definitely my go-to body glam and if you like this video then please give it a big thumbs up because I <laughs> I'm not getting a thumbs up for my go-to everyday look then I'm doing something wrong. So yeah, if you like this video and you like my go-to boy glam, please give it a big thumbs up. If you have not hit subscribe yet, can you please make sure that before you leave you click that bell button and the subscribe button below so you don't miss any future uploads from me. If you want to see what else I got up to then you can always follow me on Twitter, Facebook and Snapchat. Snapchat we're not really loving just now but you can still follow me there. 
if they want to bring back that VHS filter that I love so much then I might use that a bit more but right now it's all about the Insta and the Twitter. If you've got any other videos you'd like to see me do then just leave them down below. Thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you on the next video. Bye!